Friends, today is Thursday, May 26, 2022, and we're going to read two wonderful verses from James chapter 1 today. Let's get right to it. 23 and 24. If any of you are hearers of the word and not doers, all right, that you are like those who are looking at themselves in a mirror. They People like that are looking at themselves and then they go away and immediately they forget what they look like. <laughs> it's a little bit of a little bit of humor here from James. Uh, the ancient world did not have mirrors in the same way we have mirrors that are made of, of glass. Um, and they had mirrors, they, the, the closest they could get to producing something that was reflective was they would have like a highly polished, very smooth metal surface. So uh, that's, for instance, is behind the famous image that um, Paul uses in 1 Corinthians 13, where he talks about the fact that our knowledge and our, uh, our prophecy are, is imperfect in this world. He says, now we see in a mirror dimly because there were no mirrors where you could actually see pretty much a direct ref reflection of what you looked like. They were all pretty dim experiences. Um, nevertheless, this same mirror image is being used by James for a slightly different purpose. He is uh, talking about how he's really hinting at a reality that's inside of us. That anything we see outside of us, we, we're, we, it's like we're taking a picture of that. I'm looking out the window now, I see trees, I see a plaza, I see benches, I see flowers, I see the wind moving things. But when I turn back to, to think about you that, that are listening to this, uh, that image is gone from my immediate consciousness. And I'd have to do a whole act of remembrance and recovery in order to uh, be able to reimagine what it looks like out that window, and I wouldn't get it perfectly perfectly right. Uh, it's hard to recall things. The things that we see uh, as our attention shifts to something else are gone. And that's what's called a stream of consciousness. The fact that our, our mind in effect is like a, a camera or it's like a screen to some degree. And passing along that screen are all kinds of sensory impressions one after the other. And, and our body is aware of all kinds of things, the temperature in the room, the sounds that are happening, the visuals. At the same time, we're having maybe a memory or we're having a thought or we're asking a question or someone, we're having uh, another voice that's coming in to grab our attention. And so there's this whole, in effect, cacophony of, of impressions and noises and, and emotions that are happening inside of us all the time. And so, uh, something that we grasp in a moment will be gone unless we rehearse it and treasure it and put it actually into practice, unless we do it. Then it becomes part of our identity and our biography and our practice in our life, if this makes sense to you. So when you hear, uh, when you get a new insight, this is why it's so important to put it into practice before it's gone. It's lost in the stream of consciousness, like a river that continues to move. Uh, I first became aware of this, I talked about it a little bit on Sunday, with the reading of James Joyce's uh, novel, Ulysses. Homer's uh, great works that described these journeys. Uh, this was an avant-garde reading of those by James Joyce, but he used this technique of the stream of consciousness, a much more realistic view of, of, of the kind of conversations that are going on and dialogues and impressionistic realities that are going on inside of us. And it was really a chaotic read because a lot of what happens in our minds is pretty much of a jumble until we focus on something and begin to narrow down. And so um, this is the need. This is one of the, James is a deep psychologist for us and recognizes that unless we, um, unless we grab the important things that come onto the screen of our minds, we'll lose them. Let's pray. Lord, we don't wanna lose the words that you give to us, the insights, uh, the deep thoughts. We don't want to miss a single one of them. Help us to learn how within our own stream of consciousness to be attentive to your voice and the gifts you want to give us and the truths you want to tell us. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.